Finally. Finally. You ready to take on the greatest game player in the galaxy? Also known as the Chimp? The Chimp. I've, I've got the high score of 10,000 on this game here. Pretty simple. Just stomp the enemies and then grab coins. Grab the can. If you get my score or higher, I might give you a star and some respect, maybe. So, you game or what? Why does I say no? No. No. Really? I heard you were game. Why weren't you were the game player to be? Come on, try it out. No. Oh, it. <laughs> Oh, okay. wow, just piece of dialogue. <laughs> you go, you're going for 10,000 points. Good luck. You're gonna need it, pal. Yeah. Well, oh, the Wendy was a nice choice is an illusion. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I love it when games do that. It's like, do you yeah. want to do this thing? No. You're going to do it anyway. Well, I must. <laughs> well, no. Well, too bad. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, but thou must. Yeah. Like, which is why I like it. Which is why I like it in Super Paper Mario. We're like, save the world. No. Are you- but we need your help! No. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I guess we're fricked. Bye. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, game over. <laughs> that is pretty good. But yeah, I haven't I played- like, well, you do it, then we're I, got, I haven't played Super in years, dude. Same. Same. Um, 2008. Yeah. No, 2009. 2009. Um, oh, I-, I Okay, oh, you, you go ahead. I have a funny story about Super Paper Mario, but you go, you go first. Something about just, I guess, the possibility of the Gauss games being more linear. Um, I mean, less linear. Again, could work, but <clears throat> pardon me. We may not have gotten two of them on the Wii in that case. I <laughs> would be t totally down with a Galaxy Free, but I don't think we really need it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that. Yeah. I'm just saying that if they had been, I guess, made closer to Sunshine or Odyssey, I guess, in the past, we may have only gotten one of them on the Wii, which, yeah, it could have worked, but I feel like, I feel like having two was a good thing. Yeah. We made it! Because I feel, like, we, we, I talked, I brought it up last session, but, like, apart, the, the team that the, made both Galaxy games was, like, not originally keen on making the sequel, because they thought, they had they used up all their ideas for the first game, so I can't imagine they would want to make a third game now. <laughs> or, or maybe they would. Like maybe enough time has passed, but I don't know. Yeah, who knows? We. Uh. Amazing! Eleven hundred, eleven thousand four hundred points. You might just be my lifelong rival. I might need to find some new games so I can enjoy your frustration more. <laughs> ah, well, I'm gonna play on my word. Here, take your star. You earned it. Yeah, this. I like. This, I, I like this, this. I like how the, the ship is basically a more uh, fleshed out version of Il Piantissimo. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's more than just doing <laughs> race. That is not that much of an asshole. Well, it, 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 well, more in the sense that like he's like, like a like a rival character that keeps like giving you these challenges. Although in this case, it's, I like it better because it's not just races. <laughs> I didn't know the chip had an animation where he scratches off, scratches his shoulder. Oh yeah. <laughs> I also, wait, you mean, wait, so like, are you saying kind of like in the sense of like Hunter? <laughs> By the way, that's a good point. Yeah, kind of like Hunter. Oops. Um, Although, it's, well, why is he holding back your fucking orbs <laughs> or dragon eggs? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, the the, fi the the attitude I have with stuff like that is just whatever. Because like, the, the, like game. <laughs> it's just video game. Because I, I know with Sunshine, uh, people say like, oh, why do these Piantas have like the, the shines and stuff? And it's just like, yes, but like, who cares? Like. It's like it's like one of those things where like you're you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Because on one hand, you do a thing for a character, and if they don't give you anything, then it's like that sucks. But if they do give you something, then people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's stupid. They they need the shine sprites to do like live or whatever." It's like for their for their island of function. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. one of, it's like one of those things where like like who cares. <laughs> It's I mean, a video I game. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. Um. I'm so saying the best version of that whole thing. Yeah. 
Oh my god. So what, are for, what are we looking for now? Uh, we're getting hungry, Luma. Uh, there's a, there, I know there's one in like this beginning area that's like you need coins. By the end of this level, you had like nearly a hundred when you first ran through. Yeah, but we can't leave this planet, so. Jeez. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, th this. Th this can th this platforming can be a little bit awkward, because it's not. It's like, I don't know, the. Uh. Jeez. Um. I wasn't feeling that one, chief. <laughs> yeah, that was like frames away from getting punked. Uh, what is it? Like the yeah. not collision detection, but like the the way the game like detects you are like on the platform and like shouldn't be sliding off or whatever. Just yeah, it, when, when it when it eventually reads the slope, it's kind of like what? Yeah, it, it doesn't f like it's it feels a little bit fiddly in this game. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like uh, sometimes it's like a forty-five degree angle. Yeah, because I feel like in Sunshine it's a lot more lenient with like when it when it's detected as a slope, whereas in this game it it just ah it just feels wonky. Where is that Luma? Um, yeah. At the end of the port. Somewhere. Yeah, it's in like a lower section. Um, yeah, I was just saying about Super Paper Mario, uh, the funny thing about that, in the, uh, mansion level, uh, I remember, uh, if you talk to Mimi or whatever, uh, like, the game would, like, just crash, and we thought that it was, a uh, like, we had a problem with our copy, so we straight up, like, just, like, uh, what is it, uh, took a copy in and, like, got a new one or whatever, uh, <laughs> And then we found out, and then it froze again. So what we found out is that, oh nice. Uh, what we found out is that um, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a, well it was a glitch, but like it wasn't a problem with our copy specifically. It's just for some reason, if you talk to Mimi in that level, like at, at a certain point, the game just crashes. Oh. I, I don't know if it's a European version, like, uh, like, I don't know that ever happening to me, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's a problem with the European version specifically, but... Like, it just... We just had to not talk to Mimi and it will be fine. I think that's her name. I, I'm guessing it's yeah, the, the root of Mimi, right? Wait, what? Is it the rupees bit? Yeah, the rupees thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Um... Uh, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. Time of time. But they didn't stop hammer time, they wrote, they they slowed down hammer time. Yeah. This is the question. Uh damn it. Uh what is it like to get smushed? Oh, the heck is that face? <laughs> uh what was it gonna say though? Uh, if you guys had to pick a can you, can you, can you, can you secret break? I can try. Like or is there like a Y axis saying no? Nope. Oh, it's not letting you. I I can. It's very specific. It's like it looks like you had it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done, Aaron. Well, that saved time. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying? No, I was gonna say, uh, if you guys had to pick like. Um, uh, let's keep this, like, simple, like, simpler, um... Yes, I will marry you. So we did this joke already. <laughs> that has no, literally never stopped me before. No comment. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you know, the fact that hair is the fact that you're the one that I am, like... <laughs> moving on, uh, the... What I was gonna ask is, uh, if you guys had to pick, like, a, like, a, a 3D Mario sequel, what would you guys, like, have like would you have like a Sunshine Two, an Odyssey Two, a Galaxy Three, Three D World Two, I guess, or like I, I don't know. Like what, what um, would you? Three D World Two. You do right. Three D World is Three D World Two. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that I know. That, that's why I kind of hesitated. <laughs> and that's that's why I kind of hesitated for a second. But like you get the point. Um. Mm. um like, well, Odyssey Two. Odyssey Two. 
I think. Um. Mm, yeah. In terms of style, I think I'd like more of a sunshine too. Actually, mm. not me. More, more, not necessarily well, in terms of, terms of the gate, more in more so in terms of um, uh, structure. I think I'd agree with that. Actually, I think I'd prefer sunshine too. Oh jeez, what the oh, heck was that? Good, good. See, and that's what we're talking about the slopes. Yeah, I I don't know what happened there. Uh, you fell. Uh, you, you made me fall off. You dick. Yeah, cool. Um. As far as a sequel to like a specific, I guess a specific oh, branch of 3D Mario, um, you can make an argument for any of them. Oh yeah, but, yeah. But uh, for the sake of the fact, pardon me, for mm -hmm. the sake of the fact that I believe that it hasn't been quite taken to its full potential yet, honestly, too, if we can get like a Galaga 2 sized leap. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd be down with an Odyssey 2 as well. I. I think I really love uh, Sunshine's like aesthetic, so I I do I I personally gravitate more towards that. But I think an Odyssey two arguably has more potential. So it feels if it, I definitely feel like uh, the whole capture mechanic and like exploring kingdoms and stuff is um not the the potential of that is not fully realized yet. <clears throat> like even more so. For going from Galaxy 1 to 2, I feel. This is exactly right? This, if I could try... this is exactly 100 purple coins, yeah. I could, if I could time travel, I would try and salvage. Excuse me. I, I appreciate, I appreciate this guy giving you, like, a checkpoint in terms of how much you need. Yeah. That's, I didn't even realize that. That's nice of him. Them. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I was gonna say, so... If I get to have the ability to time travel, I would try and go back to like the 90s and salvage the Nintendo 64's disk drive so we can get like a Mario 64 too. Yeah, that is like one of those. Like the 128. <laughs> I mean, that was that's like. Technically a different. That's a thing. Demo. Yeah, that. that oh, okay, okay. Uh, that, that's... <laughs> okay, okay. You good? <laughs> what, Mario, Mario 128 is like something completely different. That, that was going to be a 64 too before, like the disk drive like failed and like it just kind of got dropped, I guess. Like I don't know, no, none of us know like how much that went into development. Like if it was just in planning stages, or if, if it was just like like in discussion or whatever. But oh, I hope we have yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, but like, I feel like yeah. I think you're good. Move on. I feel like during that big quote unquote giga leak from Nintendo in 2020, mm -hmm. I feel like we would have seen something from Mario 64 too if it was like in a state to have actual footage. Nice. Okay, okay. That is, so this nice. is the last okay. one. I do have... I, that is very handy. Indeed. Um, yeah, we haven't really had, like, a... I guess Bowser's Fury aside, when I don't, actually don't know where that game takes place. Keep forgetting We haven't had, like, a open 3D Mario that takes place within the general confines of the Mushroom Kingdom since 64, really. That is true. Well, I, I guess it also goes to show how well, uh, one thing I do appreciate about 3D World is also it's a good sh er, about well, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, I should say, specify, is that it's a good showcase of what you can do with Mario's general control scheme. Yeah, I have heard, I have seen an in, uh, an interesting video about that though, where, where it's like if they decided to make a full-on open world Mario game, a la like Breath of the Wild, where it's just one big open map. Uh, one video I've seen gave a pretty good I a good like idea of like what if it was like the whole mushroom kingdom that you just explore and um, it's all these different uh, like biomes and stuff and like you just travel between them seamlessly that 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 could have, like that could be pretty cool. I pardon me, I definitely I agree with that. But I do wonder if Nintendo is <clears throat> and it was reticent about doing so. I'm choosing my words correctly, right? I do wonder if Nintendo's reluctant to do so because they just don't want to have... I don't know, maybe they feel like Open World would establish a quote-unquote canon look of what the various areas of the Mushroom Kingdom are? I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I guess it's one of those things where, like, I, you're gonna just, like... I, I mean, we, we've had, like, all the RPGs, like, a bunch of RPGs that let like, you explore the Mushroom Kingdom. So I guess it's, like, it, it's whatever the... Specific, specific, specific game at the time wants to do because like 
like, say like, like the Sonic series, for instance. Like every every game, every game, like the planet is like si like the the continents are like sized. Don't go in yet. Yeah. yeah, don't go in. <laughs> Just wrap this up. Down. I need to get some water. <laughs> Please hurry if you actually are. <laughs> okay. Are you actually? Yes. The answer is oh. yes. Yeah. <laughs> He's thing. in a big. Hey. Uh, okay, we don't need to play the game anymore. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, well, 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 I guess I can go back to Pikmin 4. Well, I, 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 I regrettably checked the, the spoiler tag, and there's 20 floors. Yes. There's 20 floors. I'll, 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 I'll say this, there's not that many um, uh, treasures on each. They're small, they're condensed floors for the most part, but there's a lot. That's good, That's good at least. I'm only like 5% done! I mentioned that. Wait, what did I say? I said that Nintendo might have reluctance to, like, quote unquote, make a settled, settled yeah. version of Mario's The Mushroom Kingdom's whole layout with an open world game. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Yeah! I was gonna say... I was gonna say, uh... What... What... what, what hey, you Alright. Yeah, one thing, uh, sorry for... <laughs> in, sorry in advance for future Harry for doing, making him do more editing. And second off... This place. Yeah, but you like, I've seen this place before. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna... I, I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, of course, that one game! Super Mario 64! <gasps> DS! Aww! Oh. <laughs> uh, joke's on you, that's my favorite version. <laughs> no, Luigi, you don't get a third here. Uh, Mario, I don't think I was in this game! What was I? That was, that was not real. That was not yeah. real. Yeah, I, I, to be. I, I'm, I'm not gonna pick Lu Luigi for the sake of, like, being, like, off like, being authentic. Yeah, because Luigi was never in Mario 64. Well, he was at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Does Luigi only show up during like first missions? Maybe. Oh, the, I never. Okay, I never noticed this detail with the butterflies. Like, butterflies were like a common thing. Like, just kind of uh, go like around the levels in 64, and they're just here. Like, it's a nice detail because they were there in that exact like spot in the original level. And the music's dead here, you ruined it. Yeah, I, I love this. Like, it's, a, it's just a, a, a great callback to 64. And, like, the music's... The, the remix is great, like... I, 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 I do kind of feel like... The... <laughs> you, can put, you can put the song in, like, any video and it would work. <laughs> okay, look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do feel like the placement of this uh, level was a little bit weird. Because uh, I... Yeah. Yeah. It's the same sound same effect. <laughs> to the top. Yeah, like, I, I feel... Like, for World 6 level, I feel like something like uh, TikTok Clock would have made more sense. But... Either, yeah. either, either way, this is, a, this is a great, like, callback. Silly Harry, later levels don't get to be recreated. Smash roll. Yeah. Although, that no, being said... No, the Sonic roll. <laughs> God. Uh, that being said, yeah. though, uh, the um, if they did do TikTok Clock, we wouldn't, we probably wouldn't have gotten this remix. So yeah. Excuse me for a moment. You guys view the blade. Also, uh, no, no, the, it's a nice check. Uh, so like, this is basically a sequel to the original level because the walls are already like blasted out uh, away. Yeah. It's nice attention to detail. And the common metal is where one of the one of the stars was. Yeah. But I did 64 so many years ago at this point. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
And this is where the blue coin uh, switch used to be. I, I guess this like kind of goes back to what we were saying, like uh, if Galaxy U went for a more open structure, which um, I like as a full game. I don't. Again, I don't think it really works as well as linear style, but I think it's. I've, I think this is fine for like every now and then having a more open stage. Yeah. Oh, like I just like I I I just I just remembered something. Like going back to the saying how like they don't how like the Smash World and how they don't use later stages. New Pork City. That's like the final area in Mother Three. Oh, I didn't. Uh, even, I didn't even yeah, know yeah. that. Yeah, Hollow Bastion. That's the, that's the final area. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Hollow Bastion as well. Yeah, I mean. I got him out of the world, but yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm more fond of Hollow Bastion, because it just, because... <laughs> no, no, Ingrid Hill. Yeah, Ingrid uh, also, that's, that's like at the halfway point of the game. Of yeah. Dragon Quest XI. Yeah. I, I guess... That's where Ingrid dies. I, I, guess, I guess the problem with stuff like that is, stuff like that is like, um, like, you, you either, um, like, do, like, or... Yeah, you do. You, you either do like the boring like first level pick, or you uh, do, a, or you just uh, do something later in the game and like spoiler some stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Um, how are you gonna get the medal? Yeah, we, we got, got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, yeah, I had to. Um, had to give medicine yeah. to my grandmother. You know, it'd been like ex extra great if they they made the form here like blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, this is a nice little um, fake out, I guess. Like you, you think this is gonna be like the, the boss? It's place. literally just a giant womp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not. Yeah, but that's not King Womp. Yep. Yeah. The real. You know where he is? He's, he's down here. Yeah. yeah. He's underneath the level. <laughs> And it's the ex I think it's the exact same dialogue. Yeah, it is. It's the exact. It's it the exact same dialogue. Mad. We build your houses, your castles. We pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. <laughs> well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? And you can't stun glitch three me this time. I was gonna to mention that, yeah. <laughs> Just try to ground pound the Womp King, ha, and I can insta kill you now. Yeah. Yeah. And he has like his little babies coming out this time, which, yeah, the is, is you are, aren't like, the wimps. yeah, the little wimps or whatever. Like, if you're not paying attention, this guy can actually be a bit of a threat, especially compared to 64. But if you're like, the, the little like jumps he does like yeah he can stun you so you have to be careful with that um <laughs> you're not gonna get that one <laughs> nope. nope and so you have to they... you have to specifically hit the um uh weak point you can't just hit him anywhere anymore but if you do that like, it's just gonna do nothing so do they um are these guys like actually are pavement or they build like just building the stuff <laughs> I don't know. Well, you said that you build your road. Yeah. The warning, the warning seems to be like death destruction workers. <laughs> uh, yeah, that okay. does <laughs> No! Crushed again! I like how it just cuts to being in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all gonna fall off. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Okay, you win. Here, take this with you. Wait. Uh, Wait. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I like that, yeah. I, I was a little bit worried there because I don't know how far you, how close you need to be to, to the black hole before it sucks you in. I don't know, I, I don't know why, but I was reminded of like this one Simpsons Trias of Horror skit where there was like a mini black hole that slowly was getting bigger and bigger because everyone kept putting more stuff into it. <laughs> I was like, I was to say, oh, if you didn't say that, but I was going to say it's literally like the ending of Final Fantasy XIV. You know, all about the planet coming towards you. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah. Oh, oh, my wife. 
Ayo, what are you doing bringing hazardous materials aboard? Is that racist? <laughs> you just better be sure he stays calm. I don't want an angry bomb buddy on this ship. What did he tell you? I love that it's the same sound effect, man. It's yeah. difficult to make well. It sounds like an amazing place. I wonder how you get there. Oh, I don't even know what the voice I was doing there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I tried to put on like a little thing. <laughs> I was like, hey, what you doing? Bob, Bob and Buddy should be more of a thing. Like, do, how often yeah, do they? Sh right. How often do they show uh, show up? Wait, you're about to say show up. Wait, what? <laughs> I was bringing something. I don't worry about it. Oh, okay. And now, and now we're and now we're doing a call about the 54 DS. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I guess you can see this as that. Yeah. Um, well, because the 54 DS did do the Silver Star first. Yeah, you know, you know, that, that's something I haven't f like. Where's the Where's the owl? Where's the owl? It's not here. Not here. Ruined forever. Ruined forever. He's gone. It's on vacation. Hey! What's up? Hey, Stack Man! Thanks for you. This place keeps going. I'm doing my Bowser Junior voice. <laughs> I've got some Silver Stars around here for you. Go ahead and grab them. And on, on like 64DS, you actually have to find these things on your own accord. You can't look at, like, the touch screen. Um, I don't know why I was doing my Bowser Jr. voice the more I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, my... <laughs> well, yeah. I guess. I feel, I feel like double nostalgic today. I... I do like, um... <laughs> I, I, I do like that they made a, a lot of the, um... The open levels like have sil silver silver star missions because, you know, it, it makes m the most sense for those levels to have something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember one for telling black holes. Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of, kind of makes you wonder. What is this? Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder about sixty four itself because, like, uh, the levels in that game were kind of like just weird. Uh. Oh, it was like one port itself was just floating in midair somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some of the some of the levels in 64 were kind of just floating in midair somewhere. So it's like, were they just random galaxies in who knows where? Like there was a star of it. Oh. oh. Well, thank you. I'm not bothering the notes. I hope you have a good day. Uh, <laughs> He's angry at you. <laughs> Nice. Um. God, I was gonna say something. Uh. You were referring to how the levels in Mario 64 are kind of just abstract. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Well, they're, they're literally they're, they're floating in midair. How do they do that? Yeah. Hmm. Magic. Yeah. Ooh. Because I mean, Magic. they're supposed to be, because I mean be, because oh, because geez. they're 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 meant to be portraits, anyways. Yeah, the, the, like I mean, the, the specifically. Well, like, yeah, because it's like, yeah, because like, is it like, is it like there are, there are portals to places, or are or, yeah. or the point, or are the worlds, or the worlds of the paintings like uh, spaces created by the stars? Uh, that's an interesting idea. I, I like, yeah. I don't I, know I, about I, that. I think the latter. I think the latter would probably make them. The latter seems more, like it makes I always assumed it was the latter, but like now I don't you say know. Like I, that, I, I, like I always feels like it's your way around. I I always assumed that it, like the paintings just warped you to different places. Like I don't. I, I'm, yeah, because I mean, I like, never got the impression that the, the stars were like creating worlds. Because I mean, like um, because yeah, because I mean, at the very least, Mario Odyssey does kind of support that claim, where it's like it just takes you to different places. Right. Or well, what about the ones that do like redo boss fights? <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty. I think that's. I think that's like its own thing. That's just a, it's probably just a game thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, are you trying to get the green star early or something? <laughs> hey. Nice. I just wanted to be a trickster. What's the what's the, what's what's the common metal here? What's the comet here? I think it's a speed run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I think. It sounds right. Huh. Um, oh, that was nice to have that memory lane. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, right, of course. Well, speaking of which, 
Well, let's figure it out. Oh, no, no, I, Star 102. I, I remember what I was going to say now. Um, it's it's kind of interesting how, like, it's been, like, obviously, like, different, like, different, uh, like, like, Zelda and Mario sometimes influence each other, but it's, it, it's, it definitely felt like, like that with, um, the N64. Um, and, like, because, like, you know, some rooms in, like... Oh, it's Silver Star. Yeah, like, I bring this up with the Silver Star, with the Silver Star level specifically here, because there's some rooms in, like, Ocarina of Time where you have to get, like, five or so silver rupees. And that kind of makes me wonder if, like, Ocarina of Time silver rupees, like, indirectly inspired silver stars in, like, 64 DS and the Galaxy games. Oh, you only had two mids, by the way. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, but every one of the time is think about it. <laughs> yeah, this is like the one. This is like the one star in throwback that might actually give you a give you some trouble. <laughs> You're not good at optimizing. Yeah, you, it's you, especially if you don't know the like level layout. Um, I wonder how many. Do, I wonder how many are what they call humans playing this. Uh, it felt like you were gonna say something. I ain't saying Zoomers is first, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It sounded like it felt. It sounded like you were gonna say something, Scrappy. <clears throat> was that my bomb? Probably gonna say something to you. Probably. He was gonna say what? He, he was gonna talk oh. about the silver stuff that was behind. Yeah. Jeez, uh, I'm trying to. But then you rudely interrupted him last time. <laughs> We can make it's this entirely, easy. It's entirely possible that Zelda and Mario influence each other like with the silver rupee that I frankly forgot or didn't know about that in Ocarina of Time. Right. <laughs> now, I thought silver stars were a thing in the original 64. Nope. <laughs> you probably just get it for the street bots we you know what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't so bad. It helps that I played 64 like a million times, so I know this level. <laughs> I mean, the level layout is slightly different, but yeah, but it's not you... point for point. There's, there's a couple of, like key differences. The the floating islands aren't here anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Then there's no I segment for you to open the floating island from DS. <laughs> Wait, what? Never mind. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I know DS added like a lower section. You got 100. Hey. Yeah. All right. Also, I have a little less than fifty minutes, so. Oh, jeez. Well, we're almost at the end of the game, so. Hopefully, we can make it in time. Okay. The... I'm not a huge fan of this level. Pumpkin Hill. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just to gonna me, let just it, gonna get, let to it get to me. Uh, it, this is basically just an enemy rush. Um, I don't, I don't dislike this level because it's like, un, like annoying or hard or anything. It's just kind of boring. It just kill the things. Yeah, it, it's just not very interesting. Yes. Like, and, and let me guess, the speed run too. Uh, I think it's a daredevil. He did it! Yeah. Now do it again. Like, I don't know, I, like, I don't know, com, like, combat, <laughs> if you, if this, if what you can call this, uh, as combat, like, like, if you can call what this is as combat, like, it's fine, but I don't think it's, like, substantial well, enough the to- thing Mar The closest thing Mario had the combat to that, and it's not traditional RPG, it's probably just Mario, Mario just jumping on things multiple times. <laughs> or like, 64's punch kick combo, I guess. Yeah. Like, the, the, it's like, it, it's surfa surfaceable for a platform, but like, it's not good, it's not fun enough to be a whole level. Like, if this was like, uh, like Rayman 3 or, or something like that, this would be like one of the best stages because the combat in that game is amazing, but this is not Rayman 3. <laughs> but you need your combat to <laughs> But that's exactly what we need, the ride. Rayman, Rayman no. no! It belongs to the hoodlums. It might be dangerous. <laughs> God. I think we played that game way too many times. I played that game more than any other video game. <laughs> I wonder what to play. Eventually. 
I mean, I technically already LP'd it, but I was like... But you're definitely gonna redo it, right? Yeah, that, that was like back when I had a camera. Oh, I'm, ta I'm, I'm definitely tagging along for that one, since I don't know if anybody else is here that's played Red Man 3. I think it's just been us. I think it's just us two. Played the, H the demo of the HD version like 11 years ago. Where did that go? End of the first level, basically. Mm -hmm. So, end of the first level. So, wait, so, wait, so did you play. So, that would that include. Oh, no, wait. The zombie thing was at the um, uh, other level. The, I, 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 don't well, I, I don't know what. Okay, well, I don't know what demo. Like Scrappy played specifically, but I know um, before the original release, there was a demo that had that just had three random, like random levels chosen that just weren't related to one another. Oh yeah. Also, um, I I, I guess I don't know. I kind of like and oh, point number two. I kind of like and don't like. Um, how many do you want? I, I feel like it's gonna be 20. Yeah. Damn it. Uh. Yeah. I kind of like and don't like the planet that, that this Sangri Luma is gonna take us to, because that's where Fari Gobblegut is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's here. Um, I, I will say this, though. That, that is, like, the star I, I um, enjoy the most in this, in this uh, galaxy, just for the fact that. Like, it's, it, well, it's a boss and it's actually uh, really challenging, whereas like the rest of this place is just kind of, to be blunt, like, kind of a snooze first. <laughs> like, I, music, I, is, music is really much. I, I, I think the music is fine. Like, I think it's, it's nice, like spacey and atmospheric, but it's like, yeah, I, this, this world, this, I don't know, this level just exists. I love Mario turning up like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. What 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 do you guys make of uh, Battle Belt? Get the galaxy. You can play it. Yeah. Same. I... That is the last part. Did I even get the comet medal? Mm, yes. It was it was on the fire planet. She did. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I have no memory of it. Mm. I have no, I have no memory of this place. <laughs> Fucking vinyl. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Alright, thank God. And I'm no, 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 no. Uh, what, what, what do you think, Scrappy and Xavier? I um, about this level? Yeah. I only really like the. I, I only remember the fiery gobble gut challenge being really hard. Yeah. I mean, that this level is just mid. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, is that, is Fire, is Fire and Gobble Gut even the, the common metal? Uh, wait, what? Is Fire and Gobble Gut the common challenge? No, no, I, I think I think the common challenge is just do it's just dead level throughout the whole level. Yeah, I think so. Um. Or we can go in the game right now. <laughs> yep. Oh, hi, Toad. Or oh, Bank Toad. No. Or mail toad, toad, rather. I don't know why I say bank. Oh god damn, we gotta go back to fight the fleet. Race. The fleet uh, yeah. We'll do we'll we'll do that in a in a in a bit. Can you cook as fucking that about galaxy? Now we have to do it again. Now we have to do it again for the daredevil. 